Hello everyone, it's Bernina Jeff at High Fashion Sewing Machines and it is the FTCU uh, class for this month and today I'm going to show you about stitches to or photos to stitches. So if you get a, a photo that you want to uh, stitch out in representation of what the picture lo looks like, there's a feature on the software and it is this little purple mountains and uh, it's called photo to stitches tool. And I'm going to show you some uh, features of it and some things to watch out for. So here we go. Again, this is the FTCU class for uh, this month by Bernina Jeff. All right. So this is uh, came from a photo of my my dog, and I'm going to stitch this out and put it in a frame and use it as a gift for one of my family members because this dog was very dear to them. So I'm going to show you how to get there. If I put it onto 3D. This is what uh, she's going to look like. And it's all a matter of collecting the threads and stuff. So this picture was actually done off of a uh, needle punch item, so the detail isn't as great as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything and delete it so I have a, a clear work paper to do, or working area. All right, so let's go ahead and select our tool. We hover over it. It says Photo to Stitches. The first deal is to go into your computer and find where your pictures are at. And this particular one is in my scans. I'm going to select dog and open it up. So this is a photo of the uh, needle punch of the, of the puppy. So here's the biggest thing to watch out for. Look right over here. It's coming in at 41 inches by 56 inches. This is going to clog down your machine. You can't stitch that big anymore. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make that to a reasonable size. So I'm going to do the height at 8 inches. If you do 4 inches, the, the stitch detail is very, very uh, loose. So do 8 or 10 inches and then shrink it down, and that way you have more density. And then you can pick what type of frame you want around it. You can put a box. That's the default. Uh, I found out the oval works really good around this one. So I'm going to squish this oval in and up a little bit to where she's centered right in the middle. And see, it defaulted the height and the width to, uh, to keep the aspect ratio the same. Now you can hit apply. I just go ahead and hit next at this point. So I'm going to hit next. And it's going to think a while. And while I was thinking, maybe I can. Uh, chat with you a little bit. It's, it's going to take uh, a, a minute or two to generate those stitches. Uh, and then it's going to ask me another question or two. Um, but anyway, the FTCU software has got these wonderful tools. Uh, last month I showed you how to convert a whole batch at a time. All right, so here's a representation. And if I look at 3D view, I can click on there. And it's, it'll go up to 32 threads when it picks the colors. And I know that when the last time it picked, it picked 24 colors. So maybe I only want 18 colors, only because I don't want to uh, uh, spend all that time changing threads. I leave it at quality 3. I leave the stitch length uh, 3.5. And you can change this curve linear to crossover. I leave it at curve linear, linear. And then go ahead and apply that. And you can kind of see if it's going to change anything. So it took some colors away. Let's let's increase my colors back up to 24 and hit apply. And uh, hopefully that might make that picture a little better. There we go. I like that better. So I'm going to hit finish. Remember, it's not perfect. It's a representation of the colors that the software can see. And I could have, when I was selecting different options, put a uh, a border around it. So it comes in this big blue because all the stitches are selected. Now I'm clicking off. So there we go. She looks pretty good. Now if I hit 3D, that's uh, going to give us a representation. And my size, my height is 7.69. I'm going to select the, all items down here from my um, um, sequence view. And then I'm going to go up to transform, and I'm going to transform this to five inches high and keep the aspect ratio and hit apply. What this is going to do, it's going to keep my stitches all the same, 
that's going to put them closer together. And this way, it, it will maybe represent those colors and the areas a little better. So make it big and then shrink it down. If I wanted those stitches to uh, uh, change with the size, I would right click here. Well, I don't have anything selected. Select the whole thing. And I'll turn blue, right click. And you could tell it to convert to outlines. That's going to add a few stitches and then give you the outline mode. I don't want to do that in this particular thing. So this is going to be great, but I want a border around it. I should have selected a border before, but I didn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my shapes tool. It's a pencil with a blue ball and a, and I'm going to grab the ellipse and I'm going to make a oval about the size to fit on there. And then touch my select tool and my oval is right there somewhere. I need to make it black so we can see it. And then grab the middle. Come on. Give me a little hand. There we go. And I must have done this before. Look at how perfect that fits. I'm going to make it just a tad bigger. All right. All right. That oval fits perfect. Now, I like a steel around that. I'm going to hit steel. And there's my border around it. Now, if her nose was in the border, I would just move the border out a little bit further. But let's fill this all the way up. Double click the magnifying glass to fill up the whole area. And now let's see how it's going to stitch out. I'm going to grab my stitch option. So it's going to stitch that out, stitch those colors. So now it's just a matter of picking colors and stuff that I like in this particular one. And I think I have some faux leather that I'm going to stitch this out on and then put it in a picture frame and then it's going to be a nice little Christmas gift for that special person that loved this dog and will be able to remember her when she was in her prime. So that's my FTCU class of the month, Bernina Jeff at High Fashion Sewing. Remember to check out my Shopify account, that's bernina-jeff.myshopify.com or you can contact me at jpv, as in Victor, lefty at aol.com or you can give us a ring at 970-256-1293. We're in Western Colorado. Thanks.